Welcome once again, I'm Didici, it's uh, astrology.com.au and uh, we're talking about the phenomena at the moment of eclipses in the heavens. Uh, this month, actually on the 1st of June, a solar eclipse, 15th of June, a lunar eclipse and uh, once again on the 1st of July another solar eclipse coming. So there's a lot happening in the heavens and these eclipses are major point sources of energy that affect uh, human life forms as well as other life forms in the cycles of nature to a large extent even though some scientists would prefer not to believe that this has a marked influence on uh, you know mass human behavior particularly the lunar eclipses and have a look at what's happening just now uh, politically that whole Middle Eastern area is being subjected to some significant changes now whether or not this is you know politically motivated by the you know the intelligent forces of the US for you know purposes of gaining a greater stronghold over oil or not that's not the point here I'm not going to get too political about that suffice to say we are seeing that unrest and coupled with that I've also been saying on my site that uh, if you read the most recent NASA solar reports you see that there's been um, some incredible activity on the face of the sun. Now, they were anticipating some mass coronal emissions. Now, there were a few big emissions recently, but all of a sudden, the scientists are saying that it's gone quiet. So it's interesting, if you look at what happens to these uh, solar cycles historically and how they interrelate or correlate to what's happening to historic events, it's quite interesting. And you only have to observe. I say to those of you watching uh, who have uh, a little skepticism that that's healthy, but just do yourself a little experiment. Get yourself a diary, uh, study the phases of the moon, and just start making a note of your uh, experiences, your moods, your feelings, your state of health, your interaction in relationships and with others, and you will note uh, that there are fluctuations that do very much correlate to these phases of the moon and of course the eclipses on a more personal note are very important turning points for uh, personal uh, insights and enlightenment and uh, acceleration of one's uh, self-development when I was initially uh, initiated by my current teacher in India uh, he often talked to me about the power of doing uh, meditational work, uh, chanting and mantras on the on the days of the eclipses. In fact, he went so far as to to say that uh, it's a good idea to sit in a bathtub and and uh, do your chanting indoors. Best not to go outside under the eclipse and to take full advantage of the evolutionary power of these um, celestial events. I can only recommend to you again, as I said earlier, experiment. See how this affects you on a personal note. Uh, you, know, you may not be able to change the events that are happening around you on a global level. Uh, but, as I said to a friend of mine recently, the electromagnetic energy of the Earth, the healing of the Earth is going to take place uh, more predominantly through each individual, ourselves, improving the quality of our own electromagnetic energy. And as a sum total of all of those smaller particles, the emissions, if I could call them that, which comprise of the total global electromagnetic frequency, that is how we can affect what's happening to planet Earth, apart from you know, throwing your waste in the bin and all that sort of stuff and uh, not polluting so you know there's a whole lot of uh, aspects there and these <coughs> pardon me these eclipses do also tend to resonate um, within the the crust of the earth which is uh, predominantly a, a quartz crystalline structure at least on the surface and uh, you'll note once again just observing historically when these larger earthquakes occur that the that the eclipses do tend to accelerate 
and resonate in the, the crust, causing uh, fractures and shifts in the tectonic plates. In fact, earlier in the year, New Year's Eve, in fact, on uh, Australian television, I did make uh, a very bold prediction uh, pinpointing the earthquake on the South Island of New Zealand. A little did I know, at that point anyhow, that uh, that would be the precursor to the larger earthquake in Japan and the tsunami that came. But it's interesting, if you follow that fault line there, up and down from uh, New Zealand to Japan, we've noticed again uh, another major earthquake in New Zealand and um, I've been suggesting for a while now that uh, these earth changes are going to uh, step up even more like a lot of other um, astrologers and forecasters uh, including NASA who are saying that these changes are going to be rather uh, significant and that we should prepare ourselves for uh, not just changes in the actual physical structure of the earth but I've maintained for a long time that the the, para, the the paradigm is going to change the fabric of society um, the way we do business the way we value things so it's an interesting phenomenon I'd ask you to look carefully at these phenomena called eclipses start experimenting, taking a note of what's happening to you, your friends, your family and then draw your own conclusions um, don't let me um, try to force this down your throat. These are observations on my part based upon thousands and thousands of years of observation by other astrologers, other scientists, other interested people. And uh, I'd ask you to maybe um, generate that same curiosity to come to your own conclusions. I'm Didici. If you'd like to join me at uh, astrology.com.au, that's my website lot of other interesting stuff there based on psychic phenomena, astrology, free readings, uh, personal consultations with me if you like. Uh, we're more than happy to have you uh, join us there. Take care. Until next time, have a great week. Bye-bye.